Okay, we're going to make a sweep using a basic cube. First thing we do is we're going to scale this in X as wide as we can get it. So S, X, and we're going to go out. Can't see it, but it's the edges of my blender window. Now we're going to hit Tab. Hit the A key once to deselect everything. Go down here into Edge Mode. B for box. And select all these edges. And we're going to subdivide them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight times I've clicked that button. And we're going to go into face mode. We're going to go down here and pick this face on the end. Oops, didn't quite get it. There we go. And we're going to shift S, cursor to selection. And then we're going to hit tab go into object mode and we're going to add a shape key for the base of this. So we're going to add shape key. Then we're going to hit tab and go back into edit mode. Hit A key once to deselect that face we selected earlier. Hit it again to select everything. And we're going to go fix this so that we'll scale back to the cursor. We're going to change from medium point to 3D cursor. We're going to go S, X, 0. And now We've got a single face that's that whole big box with all those subdivisions all squunched up. And we're going to add another shape key with that. So I'll click Add Shape Key. Now when I hit Tab, there's my whole big box again. Now I want the cursor back in the middle of that box. So Shift S, Cursor to Selection. We're going to go into Top Down Mode. And we're going to add a Vizier Circle. We're going to scale it up so it's roughly a quarter of the length of the box in diameter. So you can kind of see how, how big it is in comparison. Then we're going to right click on our box to pick it. We're going to add a modifier. And it's going to be a curve modifier. And the name of that circle we just added is Curve Circle. So now there's my box all wrapped around the circle. Now there's going to be an issue with this is that the sweep is upside down and backwards. What we're going to do is we're going to pick the circle. You can't see it selected but I'm going to, I'm going to switch into wireframe mode here and we're going to scale this circle and you can see it's not the right direction. But we can fix that. Hit N key, cursor circle is still selected. Now we're going to rotate this in X, 180 degrees, and we're going to rotate it in Y, 180 degrees, and now the sweep goes clockwise like we want. So let's close this out. Now if I pick my box and go to shapes, I can slide this slider and we can see that the, the box wraps around the circle in the direction we want. So let's get it all wrapped around. Let's go hit 7 to go into top down mode. We're going to pick the circle. We have to click on the edges in wireframe mode. And we're going to scale this circle. Hold down your shift key while you're scaling. Very carefully. Nudge it up. So that it's up against the other face. And there it is. There's a little bit of a line there, but that's not too bad. So now, if we want to make this sweep fill in more, we right click on our box to select it, and scale it in Y, and that will fill it in more. Don't fill it in all the way. you got to have a hole in the middle, otherwise you'll start to get some weird Z fighting effects. Now we're also going to scale this in Z to kind of thin it down some. And there's our sweep. Now we don't really need that circle in the middle. So let's hit Z to go into wireframe mode. Kind of hard to pick. There's my circle. We're going to move that circle to layer 20. So now it's gone. Go 
back into solid mode. We're going to get an action editor window. And we don't want the action editor, we want the shape key editor. So when we click on our box, now we've got some keys. I'm going to show the slider for that one key. Now right now it's closed all the way. We want it to be closed all the way on frame 30. So let's go to frame 30. And we'll just sort of drag this over and then drag it back. Now we've got a shape key. Okay, but on this frame, frame 1, we want it open. So this is frame 1. Now if I press Shift, Alt, A, it animates my sweep. Now that's for 30 frames, but it's also interpolation mode is in Bezier mode. So let's change it to linear. And here, click on key, interpolation mode. We need to change extend mode to cyclic. So now, there it goes. And that's how we animate it. That's 30 frames worth of sweep. And that's how we do a sweep, and that's the end.